Welcome back, everyone. Come the Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. We're all the way down here at Twiggy's. Managed to squeak that in. That was kind of dangerous. Another freaking survival axe. Okay. Um, we have acquired this very small amount of gas and, an, and a drivable car. So we're going to try to get out of here and drive home. Well, there's more of you in here than I thought. So, while I'm not opposed to fighting you, I'd like to come, in, come at you from a slightly different angle. Just to be sure. Ooh, energy bar. Empty cabinets. This is not something you see very often in, in Hydrocraft. How's that for a stab? Did it with I can't even see the guy. Buckshot. I don't need a hammer. Colored wire, sure. Clay. Chisel head. Small battery. Eat these peas. Nails. Rope. Wash bottle seems like something we haven't seen before. There we go. Nothing there. Whiskey bottle. I actually don't think we've seen a whiskey bottle yet. Which is good, which, you know, it's important for our Molotov needs. Alright, so let's check upstairs. BB's box of balloons? Latex gloves. Those seem like they're probably use, used in something. Some sort of crafting situation. Garbage bag. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take some of this charcoal. I've been kind of ignoring charcoal as we pass by, but I feel like almost certainly used in some sort of crafting in Hydrocraft. Charcoal is important in the real world for that sort of thing, so... Buckshot. All right, so let's try and fill this car up and get the hell out of here. Come back next to when we eventually find a um, sledgehammer so we can actually get into the store. I imagine it's just completely loaded. You can't get in the back, right? It's just the one. There's no. There's no back door. Yeah, you have to have a sledgehammer, basically. Alright, so this car now has what? Where's the gas tank? There it is. 5 out of 45. Let's see how far we can get. This will be a fun experiment. Can we get all the way home on this? Does not sound like a very healthy vehicle. Move all the zombies around downtown, that's for sure. Oh, oh. And there we go. Oh. 
Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. Excuse me. Need to be able to like open the windows to cool ourselves down. Oh, you know what I want to do here? I'm concerned that that car is never going to open again. Is we're going to check this car out in terms of gasoline because we skipped over it before. Oh, it has no gas. All right, let's try this. I have a, a feeling like this car is not going to start again. Oh, it does good. We have made it all. We have made it almost all the way home, though. So that's good. Did I pop a tire or something? This seems like this is taking way too hard to get going. Oh, that's gonna be bad. That's that's not good for the shape of the vehicle. Hey, we're home. All right. Stop. Lucky I didn't run into that <laughs> car. All right. So how much gas did they use? Let's let's find out how long how much gas it takes to travel that distance. We had five. Now we have 3.9. So you can go a lot further than I thought you could. We're also very hot. We are sunstruck. Car was unpleasantly hot. Let's drink something cold. Lead some ice cream. Make you feel good on a cold, on a hot day. Not sure that's how it works in this game, but we're just gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell myself that's how it works. We should probably check on our bandages too. Oh, it's actually still not bad. All right. I don't need these pumpkin seeds. Go back in here. All right. Hmm. Well, I feel like we should probably start doing something with all this stuff. So, like, we have all of these pallets. We got like a, a lot of planks that we got from these pallets. I feel like maybe we should start building. I'm thinking we'll build mostly out into the front yard. So, maybe a bunch of of uh, crates right along the wall might be a good idea. But I need a hammer and nails for that. H for hammer. Really? No hammer? All right, we're getting really hot here, so let me take off. Let me take off this hard hat and the work gloves. That should help with our temperature some. Hammer, there's one. Now I need na -na -na nails or b, -b, -b box of nails. Wooden crate. I hate not I hate that just not being near planks is enough. You actually have to pick them up. There's something this game could take from Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead is that just being close to the to your crafting materials allows you to do what you need to do. Why did that say that I couldn't do that? Something about this 
stuff here. I have to pick up the flower bed. <laughs> Alright, what do I need for that? I need a shovel or a trowel. Oh, there's a trowel right on the floor in here. Alright, so pick up this. Really, I have to have farming one to do this? Well, that's annoying. Alright, well I guess we'll build the things inside then. Maybe I can finally figure out how to get a crate on top of a crate. There we go. Unpack lumber stack. Unpack lumber stack. Right here in the corner as well. Why can't I build here? Oh, I'm out of nails. That's easily, easily rectified. That's a nice, nice stack of crates here. Oh, we're out there. All right. Uh, what else do we want to do? I mean, I probably should start organizing. All right, this crate right here, this top one, top corner crate. Can I put all of my weapons in there? And by weapons, I of course mean shooty, pew pew shooty gun weapons, not uh, just regular old weapons. And ammunition, obviously. Alright, so come over here. It's got a bunch of stuff on the floor. This is allow us to see everything that we have. But it is going to remi require us to go through every one of our boxes. Let's drop these planks on the floor because we don't need them right now. All right, what do you have in here? Anything? Meat cleaver, nutcracker, nope. Some rounds. Oh, we did have some charcoal already. My bad. Must have got it in those early days when we were literally picking up every th every single thing we found. Already tired, huh? Nothing there. That's that's a gun, that's a gun, that's a gun, that's a gun. This is a gun, even though it just says pistol. Some rounds. Ruger, that is also a gun. All right, back corner. 
BB gun. L96. All right, so this is all of our ammunition. All right, I think that was everything. We'll see. Yeah, oh, and some rounds. Okay, so what do we have the most of? We have a 50 round box of 38 plus 15, so we got a we got a decent amount of that. Do we have anything that shoots 38? Buckshot. BBs. 7 6 45 22 BBs. Gauge shells. No. So this is of course. Of course the thing we have a whole lot of is, is the one we don't actually have the ability to use. Cause ain't ain't that always the way? Alright, so let's eat something real quick. This donut it takes a long time to cool down. I wish you could turn the air conditioning on. Maybe here, we'll read our book for a bit. We're already tired, but it still seems like a probably good idea. Hyperthermic, delirious from heat stroke, severely endangered. So I don't. I guess we. Take this vest off. We're gonna, I guess we'll take our clothes off right now. We'll sleep in. We'll sleep in the in our undies. Try to keep us from overheating. All right, we're fine. Why'd you wake up at four o'clock in the morning? Oh, because there's zombies outside. That'll do it. Oh, you break something you got in my house, you dirty zombies. You broke one of my windows somewhere. Or did you teleport inside my house? Oh, you, you tricky devils, you teleported into my home. Yeah, none of these windows are actually broken. Doors are closed, windows aren't broken. Those crafty zombies just teleported into our house. Oh, don't don't, don't drop all of that, just the corpse. Why are we so overloaded? Oh, because these bags are still full. I'll drop that one right here. Get rid of these zombie bodies. Alright, so we got some early beginnings of organization here. Get at least all of our weapons in one place. I know it's not much, but it's something. It's totally something. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but I actually think I'm going to stop here for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.